Okay, welcome, 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 welcome. It's Virgo time. All right, it's my Virgos. So listen, I had started your video, and then my mother-in-law showed up, okay? And um, I put the computer down. I was only like three minutes into it. I put the computer thing down, and it, it, it took off my pause to restart, okay? But um, this is exactly where you're at. I actually took a picture, because I don't remember now um, how they were placed. Okay, so the reflection was here. All right, the confusion was here, and this was reversed. Okay, gotcha. See, I got you guys. I got you guys. All right, so, and that's all I had pulled, okay? Um, but I wanted to have the same ones, and that's why I stopped and the doorbell rang. So, right now, my Virgos are reflecting, okay? You feel confused when it comes to something, because I remember saying to myself, she was here for a couple hours, guys. <laughs> I remember saying to myself that, like, this was going to be so clean cut. And um, I don't know what this is because this wasn't clear cut when it came out, okay? So there is a little reflection going on, confusion, thinking about, you know, the past. And I, oh, yes, I remember saying to myself, I feel like you're already in a relationship and you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to get that feeling back. All right. You're trying to let go of negativity to get this feeling back. Because I said to myself, I'm like, this is weird. I don't normally read it, people in relationships like that. Okay. But this is what this is. So it's kind of like you're confused. Is the love there or is it gone? Can we get it back? You know, and it's kind of like it's making you feel a little insecure with the nine of wands being reversed here. Um, it's like, where's your backbone? You know what I'm saying in this situation? Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. All right, so getting to know each other. All right, so even if you're in a relationship, this is let's get to know each other again. Let's release the X. It's so funny because I don't read my cards as if it's a relationship already, which is so effing bizarre. But to me, this is just saying it looks like somebody's not together. They're getting to know each other again. There's definitely children involved in this situation because that card just came out. Um, <clears throat> well, all right, that's a whole lot. So we got finances and career, forgiving and learning, okay? Um, and then we have trust. We have trust issues on the board, all right? So so this can very well be clear cut. I just thought it was going to go the other way, I think. I already pulled you one of these cards, okay? So we'll just see what that is. But like, I was like, wow, I'm like, this is going to be a nice, clean cut read, all right? But now it's like, I think it still will be. I just didn't expect this. So I think somebody wants to get to know somebody. This is like releasing the energy that somebody has been holding on to. I don't know what this is. It wants to come out the floor of wands. Somebody wants to get to know somebody. There's confusion here because there's children, okay? There's children involved, and there's, there seems to be some some money issues. Somebody's not holding their weight. Um, but somebody wants forgiveness, but there's trust issues. Like, we're all over the place. Like, what the F is this, my little Virgos? You guys did this to me last week, too, where I was like, this is not my Virgo energy. You're, like, floating around in the ethers. I don't know what energy you're absorbing right now. My Virgos are, like, in their own little world. I swear to you, you guys just conjured up and manifested your own little planet, and you're sitting on it. <laughs> Tell me about reflection. So this is you judging yourself. This is what this is. <clears throat> it's the Nine of Pents. And it's upright. So, see, we have the confidence. So, it's not a confidence thing. I think you're seeking stability. But you're not standing your ground when it comes to something. Tell me about confusion. And it's the Ten of Wands reverse, so it's it's refusing to put the burden down. But if it has to do with children, you know, I don't look as child I don't look at children as a burden. You could be having trouble finding daycare, it could be something like that. It's like a burdening situation, but this isn't 
a situation that you can just let go of because it involves children. I don't know if you're dealing with a kid's father, a kid's mother. Tell me about the nine of wands reversed. So not putting the weight down, but if it, again, if it has to do with children, you can't. Okay, the nine of wands reversed. We have the five of pence reversed. So this is, you know, coming out of the hole, I'm feeling lonely. But like money's an issue here too, all right? Because finance is underneath. Um, so this is my Virgos. This is real life scenario for you right now. This is more than just love, okay? This is almost every aspect of your life. Um, because this family, forgiving and learning, that's family. That's deep rooted. This is either you or the person you're seeing. I believe you have kids or they do. I honestly think you're thinking about somebody from the past. I don't even think you're thinking about this current situation. You got to let go of something. There's trust issues. You can't lay this burden down. Kids are involved. You have the confidence. You're, you're trying or you're keeping the confidence, but you're reflecting. So you're being positive, okay? But you're struggling with finances right now. Tell me about the five of pence. This is like a, I love generals like this, guys. I don't ever get to, like, do that. You know what I mean? You're not getting clarity when it comes to something with this emperor, okay? So you're dealing with somebody who likes to control the situation, too. So maybe this particular person, if you're a Virgo, they're, whatever male energy is this Virgo, is, is, I think, having trouble with finances and money, not knowing what to do. Like they're in, they're in control of the situation, but like you don't have clarity. I don't know if you don't know where the money's going. It's something money related. Okay, tell me about getting to know each other. All right, so we got the fool. So somebody wants a brand new start. Okay, and then we got the wheel of fortune upright. So it's just time for this cycle to come back around. So it's like make it or break it. Are you gonna have that new start? And then you got the four of pence. So st again, but somebody's holding on to something. And, and that needs to be released in order to have a new stop. So if you're in a relationship right now and it's not working out, it needs to be addressed. You need to either let it go and move on or address it and move forward. This is your crossroad. You're given the opportunity to have a new stop with or without. You have to make that decision. Right now, you're holding on to negativity, though. Tell me about release your ex. This is just energy, okay? It's time to clear, all right? So it's the Sun of Cups. So this is, and the Sun of Cups was at the bottom of this deck over here, all right? So it's, I don't know if you want to spark somebody's interest from the past or start over with this person that you're already in a relationship with because the feelings are there, and I think you have children. There's a lot of household stuff going on. Tell me about children. All right, so you got the five of cups. So you're unhappy with this situation. Your children are unhappy. You're unhappy. There's something. You're unhappy about this situation. Tell me about finances and Korea. Wow, they keep falling on the ground, guys. Holy crap, that one floated. That one floated to the ground, all right? It's the five of, uh, and, I, and I picked up freaking cobwebs, like a little dust bunny with the, the web. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like you can't escape this situation. Like, it's almost like building from the ground up again. Like, somebody needs to find a better job. There's something going on with money here. There's definitely money struggles, but you're going to come out of it. You just don't see how, but it's going to happen. This is kind of like an offer. This is like an apprenticeship. This is something coming, okay? Um, tell me about the eight of pence. This is something coming. The ten of cups. Okay, so it's going to be good. So it has a good outcome. Okay. And that's the ten of cups, sorry. But it has a good outcome. Because the sun just needs to be flipped up right. Tell me about forgiving and learning. Somebody wants forgiveness. There's that tool. There's that tool of wands. All right. With the nine of, the nine of swords. Though. So, so. Somebody needs to forgive somebody in the family. This is a family issue. This is deep-rooted. This is a parent. This is an ex-husband, an ex-wife, a kid's father, mother, if you're not together, a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle. It's deep-rooted, and it might not even have anything to do with you or your significant other. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is, 
This is every aspect of your life. This is Venus throwing, at, throwing it in your face. No wonder why you created your own planet, okay? You're at your crossroads, but you're going to figure it out because the nine is reversed, okay? So it's coming out of anxiety, sleepless nights, worry, okay? But you still have huge trust issues. They got the five of swords right there. There's still trust issues here. Tell me about trust. Okay, but I will tell you, it looks like it's definitely going to get better. All right, you got the four cups reversed. Somebody, I mean, the four cups reversed. Somebody feels like they missed an opportunity. Somebody was giving to somebody else and somebody was giving to somebody else. Yada, yada. You know how that is. Okay, no balance there. All right. Um, and now I think somebody, this father of cups, wants to come in and balance out the scales with somebody because they feel like they missed an opportunity. Tell me about the six of pence reversed. I don't know what this is trying to tell me. This is like leaving it very, this is very vague. Maybe they missed an opportunity. The daughter of cups reversed. Somebody is not looking at this as a missed opportunity. Somebody already went on their way. And then the other person. So this is reminiscent. This is, I fucked up. You got another daughter of wands reverse. You got teenagers on the board. You shouldn't have walked away, but you did. You're regretting your past. You're regretting walking away from your past. Or this is your past, and you don't know if you should walk away with it. Because you have kids with them. Something like that. Every aspect of your life. Some of you want a new start. With somebody from your past past. If that hasn't resurfaced yet, it will. Obedience. This is being true to you. So. It says, what rules are you considering when you have this question? You'll be sorry if you're going to break the rule that's already in place to protect you and others. Even though you may not feel like you like the authority right now, it's time for you to obey that's already been set in motion. It is time for you to learn the lay of the land and follow the customs of things that go in order. Learn the steps and dance. Dance before you, before you attempt to change suit to, to suit you. So somebody's trying to change somebody else's outlook on something to suit them. That will backfire. See what I'm saying? Like this, it already backfired. Because somebody thinks they can change somebody. And you can't. So. It already backfired and I don't even think you know it yet. And if it already backfired and you do know it, this is why. Because you attempted to change somebody to suit your own needs. And it backfired. It's a little confusing to me, but it's straight It's straight to the point. So I think you're going to understand what this is more than I am right now. Because I kept saying it's so clear cut. It's so clear cut. But for me, it's, it's not really. It is and it's not. But I know for you guys it is. Virgo, Virgo. And I just looked over and it's the 11. So you got all these portals open for you to do something. All right. You're in a sticky situation. It's It's... The way the cards just came out, it's like it didn't even know what direction to go in. Okay. Um, and, I, and it says surrender to the divine. See what I'm saying? Like, I think something backfired and you're like, fuck. So you know what you need to surrender right now. Okay. I don't need to keep digging. It, it's definitely clear cut for somebody. There's no in-between, you know. The only thing that's stopping you is either money or children or the past or the fact that you missed an opportunity. It's something. But somebody tried to suit somebody. Somebody tried to change somebody to suit them. And if, you didn't, and if you're doing that and it hasn't backfired yet, it's going to. And I'm sorry. But that's what happens when you mess with the universe. Instead of letting things flow, you attempted to manipulate it. This is 
a clear case of manip trying to manipulate the universe. And it's like, hey, nope, you got played, and I'm sorry. But that's what just happened. I feel like that was really harsh. I'm sorry, but that's what just happened, guys. It's 444, 14, 44. Okay, so it's, it's climax, okay? It's... <laughs> But it's really about this card and what's coming. Your life is coming to a head. A point of conclusion or a turning point, maybe some kind of change. It's possible for you to sort through an emotional explosion right now. Tune into your emotions and what they're telling you. It's very likely you need to close the surface, no matter what the moon cycle or this card, no matter what is going on right now, your wishes are not going to come true. The matter will soon conclude. And you will find out whether or not your wishes will come true. Okay, the odds could be in your favor. This is a possible positive card. But it's time that you need to work harder than usual to keep your cool so the, uh, so the events fold naturally. So you still have a shot. But it's slim. Okay? If you stop recognizing and you surrender to the divine, you might have a shot here. Because I did feel like, eh. All right? But it looks like it backfired. But you, that's why I'm like, eh, because there's still a slim chance, okay? A wish you made is about to come true or make it or break it time. It could be a sense of madness in the air, so take a deep breath and stay calm. It's time to let go of your past and move on. And I felt that here. Somebody needs to let go of something. And I think it's too hard to let go because there's all this. There's children, there's finances, there's trust issues. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody attempted to suit their own needs, and it looks like it absolutely backfired, okay? You can't mess with the universe. You won't win. So I wish you the best, very, very best, okay? For those who are in situations where you know you're not supposed to be in it, but you keep trying and trying and trying, but it's not working, it's not working, it's not working, please consider what's going on here. The wheel is here. You can either repeat the same cycle, or you can step out of it, Deal with the pain, the emotions, the heartache, the sorrow, the guilt, whatever the case may be, and move forward. Take your love, nurture your children, nurture the household, do what you have to do to stay strong, because it looks like something may have backfired. There's a slim chance it will go your way. If you surrender to the divine and have faith and follow where you really need to be and get out of a situation you know you need to get out of, then there's a slim chance. Okay. Stay obedient right now. Stay true to you too. All right. Stop trying to to change other people to suit you. It's not good. I love you guys. Watch your other signs, please, because this was harsh. I love you guys. Bye.